Ooh, yeah. Did I mention Richie Plemons lawn care? Woo! What is going on everybody? Welcome back to this episode of G4 Outdoors. Well, here's a little story about two friends that came together And we started up a YouTube just to talk about whatever We're on a boat catching big bass and smashing them cats From review videos to just making you laugh Cause we got guns, we got knives, we got fishing, we got hunting We got everything you like, so hit that subscribe button We're in the outdoors, doing things that we love We're talking guitars, girls, green grass, and guns In this video, I had a product sent to me by an Amazon company named T. Wad that's the name of the Amazon channel. They sent me a spotting scope to review and to have, and I'm gonna give you my honest and initial thoughts on it. First of all, it comes in a nice case. You know what, let me back up a little bit. I've always wanted a spotting scope for my 22, shooting out to 100 yards. My biggest rifle scope only goes out to nine times magnification. And at 100 yards, that is super hard to see a .22 bullet on a target, especially depending on what color the target is. When we try to shoot out to 300 yards, we don't even know what we're doing. We're just guessing. You don't know where the bolt's going because nine power, you're not gonna see anything at 300 yards, even if you're shooting 30 caliber. You shoot a 50 caliber at 300 yards, you're not gonna see the hole with a nine power scope. So I got the T Wad spotting scope in. Let me tell you a little bit about it. So this spotting scope is a 25 to 75 by 70 millimeter scope. So let's get down here into it and I'll give you an overview of what all is in the bag. And then later on, we'll take it out and see how it performs. So first off, it does come in a, a decent bag. Got a strap on it. It is a Cordura material-ish. I don't really know what it is, but all right. You have a nice protective flap right here along with a tripod in here. Oh boy, uh, this tripod doesn't look like it's really made to be punished or anything. So uh, initial thoughts on that. If you wanna take this out hunting or anything, I think that I would get a better tripod. So as far as durability on this tripod goes, I wouldn't trust it with too much. Uh, just sitting at the range, leaving this on the table. I think this is a fantastic I mean, just as it is, if you just put this on your range table for a spotting scope, I think it's a really good option. Uh, it's cheap. That is why the rest of this combination is cheap, I am sure. It comes with a standard adapter. That way uh, you could actually use this for your phone or camera, or whatever you wanna put on top of there. Anyway, I wouldn't trust this out in the field. Uh, if you're out hiking around or anything like that, I don't think that it's designed to do that, even though it says hunting on there. Uh, it's, it's a little underwhelming. Let's get into the rest of it. So like earlier, there is a nice flap here that you can lay that tripod on top of. It's pretty thick, so you're not gonna damage whatever is inside here. First of all, let's get out the CY type telescope instruction manual. And then the best part of it all. So as you can see, it's a 25 to 75 by 70 waterproof. Waterproof. All right, that surprises me. That's the first time re reading that. Uh, let's see, the field of view is 40 to 43 feet at 1,000 yards. Uh, that's a pretty good number there. So initial impressions on getting this out of the box. Uh, I really don't know if that's plastic or aluminum. I would hope aluminum, but I'm not sure. So on the big end, we have a lens cover. It just comes off nicely. Uh, looks like fairly clean glass there. Oh yeah, this is cool. Got a inch and a half, probably two inches, inch and a half uh, sunshade here for your lens. And like I say, you do have your, your focal right here. Let's go to the eyepiece. It's got nice fine threads on it to stay on there. Again, I can't tell if that is plastic or aluminum. But anyway, we do have a nice rubber eyepiece. And as you can see here on the side, all the numbers. So we got 25 times magnification, 50 and 75. 
So anyway, this feels like a durable, durable eyepiece. Uh, just by the feel of it, I don't think I would take this out backpacking in the woods or anything like this. Uh, I think this is just meant to be sitting on a table all by itself. I don't think that it's meant to be backpacked into some rough country. It says that it's shockproof. I don't, I just don't know if I would trust that. But for my purposes, this is an absolutely perfect option. It's cheap. Uh, I hope that the optics are good. We're gonna take it out in the field here in a second and look at those. But if the optics are good, there's nothing that can really go wrong. I mean, you got your magnification, you have your focal adjustment. As long as these stay together, you're, you're gonna be good at the range. So we got a quick overview of it. Now let's take it out in the field and see how it actually does out there. Oh, <laughs> are you guys watching me? <laughs> I promise I'm not watching girls. Hey, we're out here with the T-Wad spotting scope, the 25 to 75. I'm telling you what, this thing's got a really good picture on it. I'm gonna attempt to throw this piece of crap on here. I don't even remember the name of this, uh, Carson something or another i just did a review on it i will leave that link in the description it should be good enough to get some pictures out of this anyway i'm really impressed with this scope so far i laid it down on this rock and it did sound like plastic so you know again i'm not going to recommend you taking this out into the back countries and roughing it up i think it's just meant just to sit here and see what's going on places so let's hook this up and I'll give you some shots. All right, the sun's not really doing me any favors in this situation. Right now, the, the spotting scope is at 25 power. And I'm just going to show you that, you know, the, the edges here, they are clear. It's just this doggone mount is not very good. But it's going to be good enough for me to give you a picture. I'm going to blow this up just a little bit. And if I get this just right, you can see that the edges are clear there's this is really just this mount not fitting onto the to the scope very good but keep in mind that we are at 25 power right now let me try oh there there that's 25 power and just a quick that's 25 power that's pretty far out there that's uh 200 yards maybe and actually I'm looking at that boat through the scope so let's get back down here increase the magnification and see what goes on and like I say this is on 75 power oh no oh no they missed him so I'm on pan up just real quick can't even see him on the camera I don't think they are way way out there oh let's go for a ride okay like say this has got like a uh, 65 to 43 field of view <laughs> at a thousand yards so this is the headquarters for Smithville Lake well, let's see if I need to change the focus any. No, we're right on. We're right on. That's at 75 power. That's that little white building right there. Let's see if we can get some more action footage. Yeah. Oh, I missed it. I'm sorry. Oh, wipeout. Got that one. Got that one. So, you, as you can see, the quality is pretty clear, other than the, the shadows that are being put off. Now, with the stock tripod this thing comes with, it is hard to manage. It's definitely not a fluid motion, as you can see. 75 power, you can see that he's got probably a knee brace on.
gnarly dude so guys all in all i am very happy with this very inexpensive scope uh it's a lot cheaper than going out and buying that 150 dollar bush nail i'm super happy with it the legs could be better of course but that's part of keeping the cost down but i'm very happy with it i hope you got something out of the footage that i showed you uh we're out here at smithville lake and I can pretty much look all the way across this lake and see what's going on. I guess I didn't demonstrate that, but I'm not going to strap everything back up here. So anyways, guys, like I say, this is the T-Wad. It'll be the title. It'll be in the description. I would advise this if all you're going to do is if you want it just for the range. If you're not going to beat it up, if you're going to take care of it, I would highly suggest this one. The price can't be beat. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know uh, what you think of this. If you think there's better products out here. I know there's Swarovski. You know, uh, I'm not going to spend $3,000 just to go watch someone boat. I'm not going to spend $3,000 just to watch a couple holes go in a piece of paper 100 yards downrange. That was a hiccup. I don't know where it came from. So, uh, yeah, this in my book is a great buy. So anyway, link in the description, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below. I am out of here. No, there's nothing wrong with your camera. I'm out. Have a good day. Green grass and gone.